all right guys welcome back to the channel today we have a 2015 WRX the owner claims that there's a rattle coming in from the passenger side around under the uh, glove compartment understand the WRX's they rattle if you want a car that doesn't rattle get a Lexus or a Mercedes but I digress I'm gonna show you how to you know check for these things especially on a WRX so uh, the first thing I notice is this cover right here this is supposed to be a beauty cover and it's also functional because it allows the hood scoop you know seal to seal this um, beauty cover completely allowing the air that goes in from the scoop into the uh, intercooler you know it's functional so I noticed that this is so look that could be a culprit right there listen to that I mean uh, the, the the owner is saying that around 3,000 rpms something like that that's when you know and, and and then it goes away so it's possible that you know at certain rpms the vibration of the motor may cause this to, to, to rattle and and given that sound one also one thing that I also notice is they're running low in coolant and if you that's significant enough to to cause a rattle I know someone also one of the forums says that their battery bracket is loose we don't have that here everything seems to be nice and tight so that discards this and this wouldn't be enough to make that rattle so you know you look for obvious things sometimes the pulleys they could you know the bearings dry out and they could cause a similar sound but you know all right one one thing that a user posted was that he found that his oil transmission oil dipstick was popped out a little bit and that caused a rattle let me show you the uh, dipstick for the transmission oil on a manual not on a CVT on a manual is on the passenger side if you go in through here I don't know if you'll be able to see it because it's not there's no not enough light in there but there it is right there the one with the uh, bluish gray or light blue uh, handle that's it right here I'm gonna try to grab it this is it right here and I'm checking it and no it's all the way in and it's not loose and these cables here nothing here will cause a rattle all these wires all right so the next thing that you might want to check uh, this this scoop right here this actually brings air into the air filter which in turn goes into the motor um, this could cause a rattle so you know maybe adding some this does this does have like a little bit of felt here I think um, you could just put a little bit of foam or felt under here and and, and here and keep it in place and maybe that you know just to rule it out so now we're gonna go into the vehicle and we're gonna check for um, heat heat shields heat shields they do tend to rattle okay let's go into the car and the exhaust is closer to the driver's side all right guys so one thing that I want to point out all of these modern cars now they have these plastic covers let me get the light here have these plastic covers and these plastic covers can rattle you hear that no, there's even like the breathing there. If you hear if you hear this so this could be also a source of rattle and you can just put felt or somehow button it up maybe better to to mitigate some of that sound so always keep that in mind these things can rattle with time but again you know this car has no sound insulation inside whatsoever let's let's get under the car here so um you can start by checking the exhaust the exhaust looks pretty good looks like it's been painted also maybe kind of prevent rust but it's going here let me show you 
this rattle right this this is the heat shield right here this can rattle but that's nice and solid doesn't look like it has rust this car looks like it's been well taken care of so see the rattle i mean the heat shield this can rattle but it's not this significant amount of rust here oh i hear something i don't know if you heard that yeah okay we got we have to examine the exhaust system all right see another another plastic cover here this one doesn't rattle as much as this is the passenger side this doesn't rattle as much as the driver's side one you see it right here see that that's what he could be hearing as well you see, see that because he's hearing it says under you know at low rpm so i guess when the motor vibrates a certain way it'll probably cause that yeah um another thing that could rattle is these are let me get the light these are the there's a transmission mount this, when this is broken they can cause a clunk or rattle but it's pretty solid it's not moving at all so all right let's examine this exhaust further because this kind of sounds similar to what i heard on the test drive okay so as you can see right here this is a heat shield but but that's solid so this this can't be the culprit this is another mount right here let's take take a look at this right here for a new york city car it has very little rust you can tell this has been coated with pour 15 and this is a, this transmission mount right here so no this is nice and solid all right we're gonna keep checking for more stuff while we're down here all right so Another thing that can rattle is, like I said, these plastic covers. This car has also a plastic cover up here, up front. You see this right here? Let me get the, the light. GoPros are not good with lights. All right, see this cover right here? And if you can hear that, it has a little bit of a, oh, of course, there's a clip missing. Like these clips are there for a reason. But, it, but, but check this out, see? It's kind of a little bit of a rattle. See? It does have clips, but these things, you know, they, they become worn with time and vibration. Oh, it's a clip missing right there. That could cause a rattle as well. These uh fender oh this is nice and sturdy. It's not Wow. Well we found a whole bunch of rattles further. Alright, so here is the cat, and here's another. Here's another shield. I mean, it makes a sound, but it doesn't rattle. They can come loose, but oh wait, I hear something. Hold on. Oh, it's coming from here. Oh, hold up. I think I saw something. All right, let's see. Oh, well, this is just to show you guys that anyone can do this. All right, so. Let's see. Okay. Oh, I found it. Here we go. There's a bracket holding the exhaust in place and it's cracked right there. You can tell this is not supposed to be cracked. This is, oh wow, how did that snap? Oh man. That's exactly the sound that I was hearing. You see when the, when the motor vibrates? I wonder if the vibration causes a snap, but that's that's weak. Yeah, that's the sound. Wow. Maybe this is the issue that a lot of you guys that uh, are having that rattle sound that Subaru can't track down are having. And that's why it only does it at certain RPMs when the motor, uh, you know, is I think 3000 RPMs. There it is. Okay guys, so I used a 14 millimeter wrench to get this bolt loose there he goes wow how did that happen it's a clean cut too maybe because the metal is brittle who knows i can see this making a lot of noise notice how it's worn right there you know that was rubbing against the transmission so let me check it out no rattle it's gone okay now we got to do something about this bracket 
Okay guys, so I hope this video helps a lot of you out there that are having these issues and the dealer is un uh, unable to help. You can just do this yourself if you're, you know, hey listen, if you can pop open the hood on your car, you can do this yourself. You can troubleshoot your own vehicle and I showed you pretty much how to do this yourself. All you need to do is get your car on ramps or jack stands, always be safe, and then just start shaking stuff and tapping and knocking around and you know look for obvious uh things that would rattle so in this case we got lucky and we were able to find the issue it was driving the it was driving the driver the owner crazy and uh i'm glad that we were able to figure it out and uh i hope that this video um you know gives you a little bit more confidence on how to check for rattles and and what to look for Anything that looks like this, heat shield can rattle. So, guys, if this video was helpful or you know someone who's experiencing any issues with rattling in their WRX, please forward this video, like and subscribe, and tell, tell their friends and tell your friends. Thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you in the next one.